Hot dogs? Anyone? Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Owensville, Ohio, just east of Cincinnati, for the 38th Pumpkin Run Nationals. This is a big show. Held at the Claremont County Fairgrounds, usually draws 2,500 cars come from far and wide. But I gotta tell you, there's more wagons here than I think I've seen anywhere. Let's get around and check out some of these rides. That's nice. I had one of these, it didn't look like that. Looks like a radio. Hey, Dan, how you doing, man? Good, thank you, Dennis. Big show. Thank you. You're like, uh, what, 25, 2,600 cars? About 2,600 cars, typically. That's a lot of cars. We've had uh, pretty close to 3,100 cars oh in the fairgrounds at uh, one time. Wow. Is it mostly regional? Or are they? It comes from all over. We've had cars from California. We've had cars from Florida. We get a group that comes every year from Canada, uh, St. Louis. We get cars pretty much from most of the Midwestern part of the country. And you've been doing it for? 38 years. Wow, I mean, that's uh, that, that's pretty impressive. I mean, that's a long running show. It's a long run. What, what do you think the, the reason for that is? It's a family show and so everybody gets together and just has a good time for the weekend. Well, a couple things I've noticed here. I mean, a lot of, a lot of performance. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, gassers and tubbed cars and stuff. A lot of station wagons. See what I mean? I've never seen more station wagons. A lot of station wagons, a lot of gassers. <laughs> that, that's, that was pretty much my analysis. Yep. Pretty interesting stuff. Classic drive off. How will they ever identify the car? A lot of fun people. What do you say we check out a few cars before we get down to work? Sounds great. All right, man, let's go. Don, a Super B wagon, a 69 Super B wagon. I didn't know they made one. They really did. I didn't Dennis. think they did. <laughs> but but if they had, it would have looked like this. We, we hoped that it would look something like this. So you built this baby from what, a, a Cornet wagon? From a Cornet wagon. And then you went with uh, the high impact, what is this, a Sublime, right? Sublime, it's a 70 color. I had green interior to begin with, so I didn't have many options as far as which way to go with the color. So <laughs> yeah, we're purple, at. it just wouldn't look good. With no, the, no. <laughs> so then you put a high performance hood. What would this hood have been on? Is it, it Dart or something? No, or? it's still Cornet hood. Uh, oh, really? Like a, yep, uh, it's a Ram Air. I wanted to go with the Ram Air system, and then uh, so we, we added the scoops and and, Man. Uh, and the, the Ram Air. And, and you do, I mean, like, you're right. It's got the Mopar green interior. Yeah. And that's the stock, that's what she came with, eh? That's it, right there. And and have you redone the interior? Nope, uh, this is how we got it. Uh, we did the headliner, a custom-made headliner. Uh -huh. My buddy Scott Taylor made that. and uh, Matched it up pretty well. Yeah, he did a good job. And then you kept the stock dash, except added a few key gauges to yep, it. Yep, that was it. Man, oh man, it, and and she's she's straight too. Yeah. Did you have to do much to straighten it out? No, it was pretty straight. And then you're you're able to get the Super B graphics and everything. Yeah, right? we can get that. Can and get then that. We custom made uh, the back end part. I like that. I like how she comes up and you know kind of flows and yeah. I mean, it, it works. I mean, they, if it, you're right, if they'd done it, this is what they would have done. The tail lights are a different deal because they had a chrome piece that went across, uh -huh. and uh, I didn't like that piece, so. I was actually watching the Brady Bunch and seeing <laughs> this on the back of the car, this taillight system, and it was on a on a Plymouth. So these are actually Plymouth oh, taillights. Oh, no kidding! But they so, fit right in. Yeah, and that got rid of uh, those oh, chrome pieces there. That's so. great. Well, you, you mentioned Ram Air. You, you've done some work on the engine. What do you say we yes. go look at it? All right. All right. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> So 360 crate, you yes. went and got one of the new Mopar crate engines? Yeah, we just went with the crate motor. Uh, What's the transmission? Uh, it's just a 727, uh -huh. shift kitted it. Engine bay is done in a body color, Yep. Mopar thing. And uh, functional ram air. Functional, yeah, totally functional. I, you know, I love the look of it though. I mean, I, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't seen one of those for a long time. In fact, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That means I did my job. You did, and, and, the, and the American Racing Torque Trust, I mean, it's, it's, you just did it right. She's really nice. Have you been Thank to the you. Pumpkin Run? Oh, yes, yes. So you're, you're from yeah. around here. So yes. This, this is a big show for around here. Yes, it? It, very, it really is. It's, uh, it's a big show. It's a good time. You got a great car, man. Thanks, 69 Dennis. Super B Wagon. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, great. This is a very radical 
Gen 2 Camaro here, man. I, I saw this yeah. and was like, wow, man. <laughs> You've done some, you know, some work on this. She's really low, is it on air? Well, it was built before air ride, so it's on hydraulics. <laughs> and you know, the beak, I mean, it really looks like it's got a beak on it now. Is that, did you extend that? The original 70 and a half split bumper Camaros had a polyurethane nose that bolted on. Yeah. We made this out of sheet metal just because those parts were not readily available back in. But, you know, it gives it a really, you know, pretty fierce look actually. Did you change the way the windshield was mounted or not? Stock windshield, stock hood, just, you know, filled in louvers, cleaned mm. everything up, so. And again, clean, I mean, look at the interior. It's, yeah. it's like two seats and that's it. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's like, you don't have anything else. The idea was when you look in there, you see a brake pedal, a gas pedal, and gauges. And that's, and that's all you see, man. Yeah. The one most common question I hear is where's the shifter? And where is the shifter? It's underneath the dash. It's just flipped upside down and it's mounted underneath the dash. Man. And I love the uh, the airbrushed wrench there on, on the floor. Yeah. It was like when we were doing it, it was like, what's the one thing you'll probably never expect to see laying in a painted floor? And that was the wrench. That was the wrench. But, uh, <laughs> well, you know, you've got it obviously very seriously tubbed. How much? Well, it's uh, tubbed enough to accommodate the 33215 Mickeys. And then the taillights, those aren't stock. Those are. They're stock 1993 Corvette taillights that oh. fit right in the second gen Camaro body. Man, it gives it a totally different look. And again, those are some big tires, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we split the back bumpers, flush mounted the license plate, just basically just cleaned it up, low, clean, and smooth. Man, let's go so, see what you got in the hood. Let's do that, all right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so what, electric motor there? Uh, power window motors. Oh, no kidding. That was probably the hardest feat of the whole car was making those power window motors line up to run the same time because if you ever race the windows in your car, one always they gets there first. Yeah. In order to keep it this low, each tire basically had to be moved in three to four inches, which leaves you with no room for exhaust, hence the up and up, up and, and over, uh -huh. so, up over down, huh? up over and down. And the engine is? A 350 stock tune port motor, computer chip, SLP runners, built for reliability. It's, well, they, and they are incredibly reliable. Right. And, and that's what was around. In, in that's, 93. that's what was available. So that's back in 93, use. that was high tech, you know, so. Look at that. Wow, man. I am, I am impressed. 71 Gen 2 Camaro yes. that's been, wow, heavily breathed on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Excellent, that's, Gary. That's thank a, you. That's a mean machine. Thank you very much. Jack, this is a pretty strong looking Willys here. What is it? A, it's like a 58 or so. It's a 58 Willys it's, pickup. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a 58 combo. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff going on here and you've had this for a while. 1972. That's quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I doubt that it looked like this when you first had it. It spent most of its life in the mud. What's the color, by the way? Cortez silver. Nice, it's nice. One of the things that strikes you right off the bat, I mean, she's sitting up high, okay, but it's the wheels. These have got to be, are they 20s? 20 inch Dick Celeste chrome wheels and 38 inch Toyo <laughs> tires. <laughs> so, so it's, you know, it's not uncommon to see these lifted up, but to have that set of wheels on a 58 wheel, it's just, it's just kind of, it's kind of different. That's part of the mudding part of it, to get it up so you can get through I all I mean, you don't junk. still mud with this thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, but in its mind, you still mud, right? Yeah. And so it's 58 nose, the front clip's 58. How about this? Most of the cab is 51 willies. Uh -huh. I made the dash. Uh -huh. uh, it's a digital Dakota. It's got automatic in it and power steering and all this. A pretty cushy looking interior too. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We drive it every Saturday. And you don't really have any running boards, so you have to no. like hop up into here. Got to jump. <laughs> <laughs> now the back here, it's not 58, it's not 51, it's... Homemade. It's homemade. Why, wow, you did really <laughs> fab all this? Yes, it's track decking. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, it's not going to rot. No. And so no. you fabbed, I mean, all the tail light housings. Yeah, and these everything. are just regular tractor trailer tail lights, and uh -huh. I just made a housing for them. And then what, what are these, your backups? That's or? exhaust. Oh, that's your exhaust coming up. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, yep. man. This, thing's, and, uh, this thing has an attitude. It's tough. Well, I saw you got quite an engine under the hood. Let's go look at that. Okay. That's a, certainly a high rise there. So, yes, so what are we looking at? Well, it's a 355 Chev, popped up, old school high rise that manifolds about 40 years old. I had Holly carburetors on it. I took them off, put Edelbrocks on it to get the mileage a little better. I was, 
I was getting about four and a half miles to the gallon. <laughs> well, and, so what do you get now? Five? I got it up to about nine or ten. Oh really? Wow, wow. Yep. So even though it looks pretty, it's still really tough. It's tough. <laughs> 58 Willys with a dual quad 355 high rise. Very nice ride, Jack. Thanks, Thank man. You. Well, Chuck, this is a pretty gnarly setup. I mean, it's like overall gnarly. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's a it's a 37 GMC? Correct. Cab over COE, cab yep. over engine. Cab over engine. Where did you find this thing? Uh, the cab came out of North Dakota. And uh, was, I mean, that's all you found? Or was it on a frame? Or uh, was it... it was on the original frame. Now it's on a, a 97 model chassis. Well, that's a little different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and these aren't original headlight buckets, are they? They are. They are. And I imagine that was for yeah, that was the original crank hole. Wow. Right. Now you got these side panels wired shut. What were they? Uh, this was the access to the radiator, which it still is now. <laughs> and there was originally a push button on there and to push, and you had to open no, that I'm up. Kidding. I mean, there's a that's pretty pretty thick metal yeah. too. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot of metal there because she's not really. It's not rusted too bad. Surface rust, not and bad. a little bit in the floorboard there, but otherwise, I mean, it's you know. It's pretty solid. It's weathered, weathered pretty well. Uh, you took the rustic approach inside too, I see. Oh yeah. <laughs> the engine would have been right there originally, right? Yeah, originally the engine would have been between the seats uh -huh. like a modern van is today. Well and now, the bed didn't, uh, that doesn't go with it, but it, it looks like it does paint-wise almost. Did you build the bed? Yeah, the bed's fabricated and uh, my father-in-law uh, has been painting and pinstriping for 40 years. Is that his lettering? It is. Wow. And uh, he painted the bed to match the cab. So what's the suspension? It's a 97 model, a P30. So, um, it, I mean, it looks like a 37, but it rides like a 97. Right, just like driving a 97 model motorhome. Is it really? Right. <laughs> Because it, do, it doesn't look like it would be. <laughs> so why, I mean, why did you build this thing? I uh, just wanted to have something to haul my old cars around and something that kind of looked the part. Can I go up? Sure. Because, I mean, that's a great looking midget on here, too. Uh, thanks. What's the deal on this? That belongs to my father-in-law. The painter letters. Right. Uh-huh. And what is it? Uh, it's an all 37 Ford drive line, flathead Ford. I like the copper. Those are copper stacks? Yeah. That's pretty, that's a nice touch. Oh, yeah. Man, I mean, it, and you know that this thing feels solid. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm going anywhere standing yeah. on this. But I think this is probably the only 37 GMC slant back hauler here. Probably so. Probably so. <laughs> Man, I love it. It's a wild looking ride. Thanks. Nice appreciate piece it. of work, Chuck. Much appreciated. Well, Joe, you, you win the comedy award. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to give, give you the comedy award here. Uh, I saw you rolling around earlier with some kids in the back. Yep. This is my daughter and my son <laughs> and one of the friends. They seem to be having a really good time. Oh, yeah. So what are we looking at? What is this? Uh, 64 single cab. Yeah. Um, it is all stock as far as drivetrain and everything else. It's just been shortened about three to four feet. You know, that's a, I mean, that's a bold thing to do. I mean, these are kind of, these are somewhat rare. Yes, and very much. You go chop it on one of these. Well, it was done before I ah, got it. You didn't do the, no, you didn't I would know it. better. I would know better. <laughs> but since it was done. Why not make it look good? <laughs> a nice addition is the Sinclair Dinosaur. It was Dino. hanging in my garage and it hit me after I got the paint on. I thought, let's just stick it there it's for the perfect. show. perfect. <laughs> I love yeah. it. And so this would have been the cab of one of these V-Dub trucks, right? Right, right. And my son did the uh, burlap work on the doors. Very nice. Yep. Very 14 nice. years old, getting into it. <laughs> and what's the knob down there? That's when... how they turn the heat on and off. Oh, is that right? You just crank the knob and the heat comes on, crank now, it back. Now, is, it, is that a off. gas? Does it run off the gas? No, or it's is actually just hot air. hot air pumping from the engine. So, uh, green. And I see it's it's called the toad. Yeah, my sister named that when she got here. <laughs> Check, can't, I can't see why. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> now, you know, serious uh, tires back here, too, but but you haven't changed the differential or anything? That's all still? Nothing's changed. It's still a gear reduction rear end, and so I could run them big tires, and it just made the car look a little better. A, a, a little more hilarious. Right. Now, these are, these are drop, drop sides, drop right? Drop gates, yeah. They just pop and drop. And that's the way Volkswagen made their trucks into a flatbed. Wow, so that's pretty cool. All, all three come down. This would come down? Or, oh, it would come down. It so comes it just, down too. It, what a weird just, looking. It's got a nice tailgate. Just pop it up. There you go. Easy okay. as that. And pick up to a flatbed in, in a bat of an eye, right? That's right. Man, it's the way they made them. So uh, still stock V-Dub? Stock engine. They came with a key. Nice key. Yeah. <laughs> as stock as it can be. 
I didn't do anything but put it in and run it over here. And and it and it runs like a Volkswagen, so it gets you where you want to go. It gets me where I want to go, and it's certainly fun. It shows. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious. It is totally hilarious. Right. I'm glad you brought the toad out. Hey, Joe. Nice, Thank you. Nice toad. <laughs> I love it. Hey, the Pumpkin Run Nationals is a blast. Pretty big show just east of Cincinnati. You're going to have a good time, and I guarantee you'll see a lot of wagons.